Welcome to the FJD Tron 3D LiDAR Scanner. In this video, we'll show you the first setup of what you need to do to be able to accumulate accurate results in the field. As you can see here, we have already pre-configured and set up our equipment as we have shown you in the startup video. So I'll just go ahead and switch this over my shoulder and then I'll power on the device. While the device is powering on, I'll move to my device, go to the settings, Wi-Fi, and then I'll just give it a moment until it recognizes the FJD Tron scanner. Okay, as we can see, our Wi-Fi has picked up the FJS1 scanner. So our password is always FJD Tron S1 all in lowercase so so our password is already typed in we'll just click on the wi-fi and that will automatically connect us what we'll do now is we'll type in the ip address 10.42.0.1 and that will allow us to link to the ui of the fjd giant scanner so as you can see this is my home screen with all the jobs that has been created and then on the middle, I'll just click, type in my project name. So that's a test here at our office. I'll say OK. As you can see, the scanner is currently initializing. It takes about 15 seconds. And once it shows you the data that is accumulated, you need to let the scanner run for another 30 seconds plus minus. The reason for that is on the side of your scanner, you'll actually see that there is a red and green light that is flashing. This is the, uh, the algorithm that's actually initializing before you start scanning. So while you wait, the scanner needs to be static and still and also accumulate the most amount of data that you're about to scan in your environment. In this case, you might see the cameraman as he's in front of me and a bit of our surroundings. So as you can see currently, the light is continuing to flash green, which now means our scanner algorithm is initialized and we can actually start with our survey. And that's it. That concludes our first video for the FJD Tron 3D laser scanner. 